What's up, YouTube? This is Corey Zamier here. No name, no and I've got an unboxing video for you. Um, like I said in my last video, if anybody watched it, I do this thing with eBay where I try and snipe auctions at the last minute. So I usually these aren't things I'm watching. It's just something I come across when I'm on my uh, eBay app on my phone. And it'll be the one that's ending the soonest. And I'll try and get it if it has something that seems worth it. Because it's usually going for a low price. It's usually a wholesale lot. Um, so I already opened the package. But inside the package is the shoebox of PlayStation games. Ooh, and we have some real winners on top, everybody. Hold on to your hats. We got NHL 2001. Um, all these seem to be complete. Um, International Superstar Soccer Pro 98. This guy's got an afro that I would like to have. That's pretty cool. Ooh, snap. Someone paid $15 at one point for Mary Kate and Ashley Winner's Circle. What the fuck were they thinking? Um, we got Jeopardy. Um, some of the games in here are ones I actually would like, so <laughs> we'll get to those eventually. This is one of them. I have on my shelf already. Moto Racer, almost knocked Darth Vader down, and now I have Moto Racer 2. Um, this is a game I played, I think I rented this once, um, I don't know what exact relation this is to Ridge Racer, which is a series I like, but this is Rage Racer, it has the same um, mascot, girl I guess, whatever. Um, then we have Madden 99, the cracked case. Spec Ops Covert Assault. Um, Die Hard Trilogy, which I've seen a lot, but whoa. We even have some codes in here. Snap. Might have to try some of these out. Um, Spec Ops Stealth Patrol, which this case is about to fall apart, which it did. Ew! Greatest Hits! Tomorrow Never Dies, 007. None of the 007 games ever lived up after GoldenEye, so I don't know why they bothered trying. Oh, this person was packing Victoria's Secret stuff. Huh. Underwear was in this shit before. <laughs> it's weird. Um, WCW vs. The World. Never heard of it, actually. Um, don't worry, guys. We're actually getting to something decent soon. Uh, Test Drive 5 with a destroyed case. I think I owned uh, Test Drive 6 when I was a kid. I think I convinced my mom to buy it for me. I play like games back then. I used to. Yeah, this case is destroyed. It's useless. It's dead. It's dead to me. Can't fix it. Um, <laughs> I used to convince my mom to buy games, which I really don't know how I did it. I must have been a really annoying child. Still some like original sticker uh, like tape on these. Uh, Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Assuming all these Spec Ops games are pretty terrible and never heard of them before. Uh, then we got 007 The World Is Not Enough. And by the way, there's I believe 21 games in here. And I only paid $17 and like $6 shipping. So $23 for 21 games. And eventually I will get to a game that's worth it. This game, I, what the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> Robo Pet. Never heard of this one, but looks like it might be interesting. And this is weird. This is a PlayStation game. Um, it's in a... I've never heard of this. Iron and Blood. It's Advanced, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Iron and Blood, Warriors of Ravenloft. The Dark Side of 3D Fighting. Oh, it's a demo. Okay, that makes... I'm wondering why it's in, like, this regular PC engine case. And looks like he printed out the moves for it. That'll be interesting to try. I've never heard of this. It's only a demo, but that seems pretty cool. Did I already get this? Oh, NHL 99. thought I already had that. Um, NFL Blitz. This is the original. Um, 
I just got Blitz 2001 and a PlayStation this weekend, so that's cool. Uh, WWF Warzone, which is cool. This is the first wrestling game I ever owned, and I, I enjoyed it, except I didn't like how the moves rather than the way they have it with all the move all the like smackdowns and stuff after it like you had to enter like commands as if you were playing street fighter where like you know quarter circle forward or something was like the stone cold stunner kind of thing it was really weird the controls were terrible uh greatest hits version of medal of honor which sucks because i enjoyed playing this game i i own this uh, and got rid of it when I was a kid, but I don't hold on to Greatest Hits games, like, as you can see, I don't own any Greatest Hits titles, and I'm not going to start, so that's, I'm going to have to get rid of some way, and this is the game, I, I saved it for last, I found it in there first, but, saved it for last, because it's the reason I ended up purchasing this package, and that's Spyro, Year of the Dragon, which is worth, like, maybe 10 to 15 dollars on eBay, so, that's, that's, that's about it. And also, I just came, I got out of work today. Jeremiah's about to jump up on the bed in a second. But it looks like he's not going to make an appearance today. Uh, <laughs> I just stopped by. Oh, he has. He's trying to get into this bag. Which. Yep. He's in there. Okay. <laughs> find, find a bag or a box. A cat will soon follow. Um, like I was saying, I got out of work today. And I stopped by Goodwill because I had to go home and get the computer so I could work on some things. Um, and stopped at the Goodwill, like I said. And I just got Grand Theft Auto 3 uh, this weekend. Oh, hey, Jeremiah. And I decided to pick up Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is the only one I've never had. I've never played this. Um, hopefully, it's in really good condition. also has the poster, which is same Goodwill, so I'm assuming it's the same person owned both games, kept them in really good shape, which I don't know if they if he dropped them off at separate times. I'm assuming they just didn't get all the games out altogether because they actually have Vice City there also, but I already own Vice City. That's the only one I owned before this, so I didn't pick that one up. And they had the hardest-hitting soundtrack of all time. This, prepare yourselves, guys. This is the hardest shit of all time. It's Disney's Aladdin. Real talk. This is my favorite Disney movie, so I had to pick it up. It was three bucks, paid six for San Andreas. I didn't want to risk waiting for it to be half off, you know, it'd probably be gone before then, as it goes with that Goodwill. Um, anyways, guys, this was my unboxing for eBay. What am I going to do with all these shitty games? Good lord. <laughs> What's up, internet? <laughs> you thought you were rid of me. That video, this video is not over yet. You might, you might not have noticed, but the video is not over. Uh, so... One thing I wanted to talk about that I forgot uh, to mention during the recording was I am going to be starting a Let's Play series, but it's not a Let's Play of like any one particular game. It's going to be a random Let's Play where every single video is going to be me playing approximately 20 to 30 minutes, probably less with some games, of the game. Just kind of like to get playing some of the games in my collection because I, I, I get them and I work a lot. Not as much as I could, but I, w I work a lot during the week, and I look for these games all weekend, and the rest of my time is editing these videos, so this is my way of getting a chance to play some of the games, like, uh, like ones that I just normally wouldn't play. Like, there's not any time in my life where I'm just going to be like, hey, I'm going to play some Gran Turismo 1, or, you know, I'm going to go play some Grind Session. You know, I have these games, I, I would like to play them, so this is my way of doing that. So, tune in. Uh, planning to get one of the Let's Play videos up later this week. Editing process is kind of abysmal right now. Because it's around a 30 minute video. So, let's see. Goodbye for real.